Okay, K Rap. I got to listen to a pretty intense father daughter skull session in the car. Your daughter was going to gymnastics and she did not sound like she wanted to go to gymnastics. <laughs> did she, she didn't want to go. And not that day. You know, I think she was fine when she got there, but right? That's the thing. How many times do. You know, how many times do, if, if people had to be honest, are there guys that don't want to go to wrestling practice that day? They're, I mean, they're, all the time. I know you they, probably felt that way. I know I felt that way. You right? know, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I was, I wanted to be there most of the time, but there were probably a few days, right? But yeah. it's not always, you don't always feel 100%. You don't always feel like that's what you want to do that day. You're sore. You're in a heavy training cycle. The day before, you went six hours. You're, you know, your foot hurts. Your muscles are sore. You're, that's reality. And how many? She's there six hours every day, right? Um, most of the time it's four. Is it four? But they're in camp, well, camp right now. now. Yeah, six. yeah. So it's a little more than. But yeah, four four hours a day. I mean, that's a. It's it's. That's not the sport to pick if you just want to him and ha and wade through it that's a tough sport no time commitment right i told you what's the perpetual thing with gymnasts they're always what they hurt a lot they're banged up and they're hurt a lot they're doing things that we're not supposed to be doing yeah, with our I mean, bodies right joints and just, right you know, I mean, so yeah. how old is she she's 11 Ky she will kyla's be, 11 yeah she'll be 12 uh here in uh what eight days Seven, seven, eight days. The twenty second. She'll be twelve. You got two boys, two girls. Is there any difference between raising them and getting them mentally prepared like you did that day? You got her. She was pumped to get out of the car, and not like dragging her feet and moping. She was like ready to go and attack it. Is there a big difference between boys and girls? Um, you know, I, you know, I like. I would say yes, but at the same time, I mean, the boys are different. The girls are different. I mean, my two daughters are. They're 180 degrees difference in their makeup and their personality and their they're awesome. They're both they're all awesome, but they're different, right? I, I just got a feeling like just hiking with Libby. Is she the toughest Roberts that you have? She's pretty tough. She is pretty tough. She might be the best athlete. I mean, yeah. I wanted her to be the gymnast. Because I could see the backflips on the trampoline without ever being trained in nothing and landing them from the first time she started and climbing the rope and the, you know, the rope, old Oregon State wrestling room, climbing up that thing 15 times at a young age. And I'm like, this person should be doing flips and jumping off bars. and But she didn't have any interest in that at all. She wanted to wrestle. She wanted to wrestle. She where, she, to wrestle. where she's left wrestling at a pretty high level. Yeah. Is she, she won the Westerns yet? Um, I think a few times. With Pocatello, right? Yeah. She. Did, I mean, she, yeah, I think so. Yeah, two or three times, I think. So she's highly competitive. Is there ever times that you feel like maybe I need to dial it back a little bit? This isn't Division One college wrestling. These are my kids. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't. I don't push them. No. Think I, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't dial it. I don't need to dial it back at all. You know, I think that if anything, for my son, sometimes he wants me to be more hands-on and more of a drill sergeant. And you know, in the practice room, he's like, we work at stuff. But no, in fact, that's a you know, he about eighth grade said, "Hey, Dad, when are you going to start working with me?" I said, "What do you mean? When are you going to start? Like, I, I want to get good at wrestling." I said, "Okay. When when are we going to?" Can you start going in in the morning with me? Can you start working? You know, I'm going to be going. I, it was it was like eighth grade, I think. He was going to be in high school the next year, and he was doing pretty good, you know. I said, well, he said, why don't you? Why don't we ever go in? And I said, you never asked. You know, we'd go to practice, go to club practice, like every other kid, a couple times a week, go to tournaments, like, you know, which I, I, I wasn't there for all most of them early on. You know, a few a year, but that was about it because I was with the college guys. You know, but when, when are we gonna start going? When are we gonna go in the morning? When are you gonna start working with me? Technique. I said when you ask. Okay, well, I want to go. 
Can we start tomorrow? Sure. Yeah, I don't have, you know, we didn't have morning drill the next guys, the next day with the guys. We didn't have morning drill the next next morning. We didn't have any individuals. We didn't have weights the next morning. It was a morning off, scheduled day off. So yeah, you can start tomorrow. Okay. Oh, wake me up at six o'clock, 6.15, whatever. I don't know what it was. I said, no, you wake me up. What do you mean? Why, why wouldn't you just wake me up? Why don't you wake me up? You know, he didn't understand. He didn't, he thought he took it like I wasn't gonna wake him up. I said, you wake me up. Why, why do you, I have to wake you? Just wake me up, dad. I said, no, you wake me up. Why? I said, if you wake me up, I know it's important to you. You wanna do it. It's priority for you. Your alarm goes off if you hit the snooze button or you you, you forget it that day. Because right now, just because right now you want to go, you, in the morning you want to go, you get me up. Of course, I was ready to wake up, but it's got to be it's got to be the kid. Just because it's important to me doesn't mean it is to the kid. I asked you about like the passion thing yesterday. Do you see your kids, are, are they all passionate about something that is like an athletic endeavor? What do you think? Well, we've got one that's working on a gaming scholarship. He wants to go. That's a thing. A that is literally actually a thing, and you know that. And, right? I, and, I, and I kid. But he's, yeah, no, that's he, a thing. Yeah, no, I know. He might get a Fortnite scholarship or something. Okay. <laughs> and then we were with Libby. I can see it in Libby. She, she's just, she wants to train. She wants to win. Whatever, whether it's hiking up the hill or probably beating someone's face and she seems pretty passionate about just being a competitor kyla gymnast and then we have uh obviously drew who's going to minnesota colton is right now stuck in the video game phase huh yeah well he's a, he's a, he's I, I kid he's really good at it i guess i don't know but he plays with you know the high school kids like he's on there with you know he's he's on there with uh some of his old buddies from Oregon, you know, Chance Lamer and and Gabe Wisenhunt and Legend Lamer and and uh, Gabe Vidlack and Cavelli. He's playing with like guys who are in college and Cavelli Kinton High School, who's a state right? champ here yeah. and over here. You know where we're at now in in Washington. How do you help kids? De- how do you help your kids develop a passion for something? How do you do it? Do you do it? I don't even know. I'm asking you. I don't know. I'm like second two time father, but my kids are two and four. I don't, yeah. I don't know yet. What do you do? You know, I just think you. I, I think I think people are the way they are a lot. I mean, if anything, you just model it. You know, you don't, but it's got to be what they pick so it might be different for them than it is for me but I think you know if you're just a passionate person about something and I think it gives you for me there's really no other way to be I, and that, but I don't think anybody taught it to me so I would assume it's the same I think you are you know I think you can instill like the hard work and stuff which in itself means different things to different people what's your definite it's relative right what's hard work is this a mountain pass we're going over right now just going up a little hill but no I think you know if you just if you're a passionate driven person I think people see that and you know nurture nature I mean I don't know but uh, no that's just I don't know you talked to my old man and he talked to you about us getting into wrestling and stuff and for me it was just something I gravitated toward that was my passion but for somebody else it might be something else but you know, I think I got a very passionate wife about the things she does and that she likes. And so, you know, I don't know if that's an innate thing or if kids learn it. But I think if they have two parents that are both passionate about something, they got a better chance to be. You got any more parenting advice for me? Oh, man, I'm probably the wrong guy. <laughs> You're not paying for this advice. No. You would not go and, and get me to. But I want to hear it. Doesn't mean I have to pay for it. No, I just think, you know, if you have purpose, if you have something that you're, you know, passionate about and that you like to do it, and then if you're lucky, fortunate, whatever you want to call it, intuit enough to to create the situation for yourself and with the help of others that you can do on a consistent basis, make a living doing, make that you can do all the time. I mean, I I just think that's... 
it's really fortunate. I mean, you know, you, you just that's <laughs> wrestling is. I never went to a wrestling practice as a coach and thought I was going to work. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, you're, you're going to put time in and stuff, but I never thought of it as like I never woke up and like, God, I got to go to work today. Three, oh, three days to the weekend. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's that's fortunate. That's, you know, that's being a lucky man, whatever, whatever you want to call it. 